previously on Life as Amber Knows It. This is lunch. Five more days till surgery. <sighs> Alright guys, I have sad news to report. Crackers. Crackers. I feel really dizzy. It is 11.31 and tomorrow morning I am having surgery. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if I look the same way I did in another recent video, it's because I'm filming this back to back, back to back, because I have surgery in two days. So I don't know what my condition's gonna be. I don't know. But I figured while I'm here, I'm gonna show you what I would have liked to see when I was preparing for my liquid diet. Okay, so <laughs> I should probably start by saying I'm having a weight loss surgery, vertical sleeve gastrectomy in two days. I am 12 days into my liquid diet. I'm just gonna tell you some of the things that I've been doing that I found have helped me be successful. This is not easy at all. I think this is where a lot of the hard work really begins. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest because weight loss surgery isn't just an easy fix or a quick way out or a magic little surgery and you just no there's still a ton of work like it is a tool that is meant to help you but a tool by itself is not gonna do the work you gotta use the tool you know what I'm saying that being said I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I've been doing using eating drinking for the past 12 days <laughs> I still got two more days left of this. After midnight tomorrow, I won't be able to eat or drink anything because um, surgery will be the next morning. Oh, that feels so weird to say. <laughs> okay, anyway, so here's what I've been doing. Whatever physician you have, whatever bariatric clinic you go to, they're probably gonna have their own different type of manual on what you can or cannot eat or they might adjust your calories. Like this is gonna vary from person to person. I'm just gonna share my personal experience. I'm not comfortable sharing my doctor's name or the location of the hospital or any of those details. Just be just out of reasons for safety. I'm not trying to be a gatekeeper or stingy with information. Like it's just safety, okay? So don't come for me. The the pre-op diet for me is broken up into two stages. First stage consists of three protein shakes a day and one meal per day. And by meal, I mean <laughs> a meal you can chew. <laughs> Meaning one protein and a veggie meal per day. Now the protein can be a lean chicken, a piece of fish, three fourths cup of egg whites, and it's only three ounces of meat. Three ounces of chicken or fish and then you can have one and a half cups of cooked non-starchy vegetables or two to three cups of raw vegetables still very limiting now right and then for the fat you can have one serving of fat which can be like oil mayo peanut butter dressing nuts avocado i've been choosing peanut butter yeah if you follow me on instagram you already know that my daughter got into my jar of peanut butter and um yeah had a whole party with it but that's, that's besides the point um yeah so and then you can also have one cup of berries or half a cup of beans per day now that is days one through nine with that you also need to have they say a minimum of 64 ounces of water but I found that in order to be successful, you need to be drinking at least half your body weight in water. 64 ounces is not gonna keep things moving. It's not, it's it's not enough water unless you weigh uh, whatever 64 times two is. Unless you weigh 128 pounds, in which case you wouldn't need surgery. It's just not enough. Take your body weight, divide that in half, drink that much water, and I promise you will not regret it. So that's days one through nine. But in this phase, I could also, I asked him like, so if it ain't on this paper, does that mean like, this is a little printout that he gave us. Um, but I was like, if it ain't on this paper, does like, are there other options? Because protein shakes, berries, and like this little, that's not going to cut it for me. It's not enough food. I'm hungry. <laughs> So he said, actually, yes, you could incorporate yogurt, cheese, cottage cheese. And I said, say less, doc. I got you. 
So then I started incorporating cottage cheese, which I love cottage cheese, yogurt, and the yogurts I incorporated were two good yogurts. These only have three carbs and two grams of sugar and they sell them at Walmart for a dollar and some change. This one is my favorite flavor, the mango hibiscus. I also like the black cherry and the strawberry. These were good for between meals. And then the protein shakes that I'm drinking would be either the classic Premier Protein. So I just got the banana flavor in this because a new sheriff has entered the town, Fairlife. So I got Fairlife in chocolate, vanilla. Oh, oh Jesus. Hold on, hold on. So I got Fairlife in chocolate, vanilla, and salted caramel. And these, baby, when I tell you they are superior to Premier Protein, and that is hard for me to say because you guys know I love Premier Protein. These are really good. They're 10 calories less than the Premier Protein, but they have the same amount of protein in them. So there's not that much different, but the flavor profile is just kind of different on these. Like the chocolate tastes like chocolate milk to me. The vanilla tastes like a frosty when it starts to melt. You know, the little, little liquid you get? Yeah, that, that's what this tastes like to me. And then the salted caramel tastes like, tastes like this with just a little bit of caramel to it. Also, because I could only have three ounces of meat within days one through nine, the only way I could know what the ounces were gonna be was to get a kitchen scale. You're gonna need this pre-op, post-op, whatever, you're gonna need a kitchen scale. This was probably like less than $10 at Target or something. So it doesn't have to be some fancy schmancy scale, but get you a food scale so that you can weigh your food. And that's something you're probably gonna have to do the rest of your life. It's a good investment. Cause I'm drinking so much water. I'm getting tired of water. Like water is just like, it tastes like air, like evaporation, condensation, <laughs> like, I mean, that's what water is. Anyway, I found that's really helped me get my water in is adding some little drink packets to my water because it's exciting. <laughs> this one so far has been like my go-to zero sugar country lemonade. You see that? Ooh. I got these at Walmart and I think it's like a dollar a box. So I bought about five boxes. I used my big old 40 ounce water bottle. This is a hydro flask. I didn't pay hydro flask dollars. I got this on sale for half price. It was like $20 or something, but it is like the best investment if you can catch it on sale. If not, just get you one out of from Target. Like I still have my one from Target too and it keeps everything just as cold as this. But I got this, I wanted this size because it's 40 ounces. Like my other one is I think 32. So any anytime I can get more ounces, I'm all about that base. So I just fill this up with water, drop my little packet in here, and I just sit there and guzzle this. The other two things I have that are essential for your pre-op diet, stool softener. This is the, you know, CVS off-brand. So, I mean, you can go and get the dual dual colax or something like that but this is what i'm using it's helping okay and then i also when i'm making my shakes i add some benefiber into them because that also helps keep things moving also if you're having trouble with constipation which is normal because your body is just protein 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 and i don't know about you but my body does not process that much protein very well it kind of just sits there. If I've tried the Benefiber, I've been drinking enough water, I've tried the stool softener, like I've tried all these things. My last resort, <laughs> my last resort is this tea. This is the Smooth Move tea. Now this gonna move you. It's gonna first move your stomach. It's gonna have your insides twisting and turning. But then shortly after it's gonna push it all out. So it's gonna make you a little uncomfortable, a little crampy, but it's gonna keep things moving. The other thing that I did just to try and prepare myself for how I will be taking my vitamins after surgery, I went ahead. Well, it's a requirement that we have our vitamins before surgery anyway, so I ordered them. I went on to bariatricadvantage.com and I ordered the multivitamins. These are the Chewy Multibites. And this is the flavor strawberry watermelon. And 60 come in here now they're not that good but they're not that bad that's the only way this they look kind of like starburst they do not taste like starburst they have a bit of a plant earthy weird taste but if you hold your breath it's okay um <laughs> and then these are the caramel um calcium citrate 
soft shoes and you get 90 in here can't take your calcium with your iron which i have to take iron because i've always had low iron you have low iron you're probably going to take an iron supplement as well um but you can't take your calcium with your iron because they compete for absorption so take them two hours apart the other thing that i recently purchased liquid collagen by windsor botanicals this is for skin hair and nails and i got this because typically with weight loss surgery comes lots of hair loss so i'm trying to stay ahead of the game and get my biotin levels up make sure my vitamins are tip top shape so maybe i won't have to experience that and my mom told me about this i think yeah i think my mom told me about this to get a liquid form because this will help with absorption so what i do is i just shake it up a little get a little in the dropper this is not working like it normally does please hold okay get in the dropper put it under my tongue and that's it it tastes like lemon it doesn't taste like vitamins or anything if you're interested in to see how i did in real life like vlog style i don't know if that video is going to be after this one or before i think it's going to be before i'll talk to you about the daily struggles your girl's been having oh you can also have chicken broth or beef broth just broth so i have had chicken broth two times it's okay i just feel like i want chicken in it like <laughs> I just want broth I don't know okay we got broth but I want I want vegetables in it I grew up on chicken soup like homemade chicken soup my mom makes the greatest chicken soup so then I learned to make the greatest chicken soup but to just have the broth with the nothing in it it plays with your mind it's it's all mental it's all mental okay um but that's about it if you guys have any questions maybe you're in the process of getting the surgery and you want to know what it's going to be like just remember to go based off of what your surgeon says not off of what i say i'm just a regular person that is getting surgery in like two days <laughs> if you guys have any questions comments concerns <clears throat> go ahead leave them down below i'll get back to you thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you next time peace it's not over yet we've only just begun not much time is left gotta get to 51 Let's go, I know we'll have some fun